Okay, is everybody ready? Uh, sounds, lighting, have the script director back there, makeup has touched him up on his good side. We don't want to have Tom Cruise come and weigh in on us here, so we'll make sure everybody's good to go. All right, in that case, we'll say lights, camera, action. Hi, it's Neil, and as always, this is Boniface, everyone's favorite American Bulldog. And today, I have a short video. We have a question from a Ms. Mary Ann Spinetta in Salinas, Kansas, who asks, what kind of music does this handsome American Bulldog listen to? What's on his Spotify playlist? And that's a good question. Uh, Boniface and the American Bulldog likes a lot of kinds of music. It's not a big country and western fan, but how can you not like Johnny Cash? Not a big rap fan, but how can you not like the Black Eyed Peas with Pump It? But there are a couple here that really are the favorites of Boniface and that will be at the top of this playlist. And one of those is the 1955 or 53, 53 I believe, hit from Patty Page, How Much Is That Doggy in the Window? So Boniface always has the idea that there's a home for every dog and a dog for every home. So how much is that doggy in the window? Now when he wants to rock out, he goes with David Bowie's Diamond Dogs or Nazareth's Hair of the Dog. Both of those also have songs by that name on that those albums. So that's when he really wants to get going. Or Led Zeppelin's Black Dog. That's another real rocker he likes. Neil Young's Old King is kind of one of his favorites, but he doesn't like the fact in there that the dog gets kicked at some point and actually dies at the end. So that's not maybe at the number one spot for him. And then there's the 1947 hit by Hank Williams Sr., Move It On Over. And that's a story about a guy that comes home late at night. He's been drinking and carousing and womanizing and the woman in the house locks him out. So the guy's got to sleep out in the doghouse and he's telling the dog, Move it on over, because the big dog is going to have to sleep in here with you tonight. Some of you might remember, and I think, oh yes, that's right, you're telling me about that 1977 version or 78 version from George Thorogood. So, a lot of different dog songs there. Some that he doesn't like, uh, Shannon by Harry Gross, that's when one of the Beach Boys dogs died and he wrote that. Yeah, just a little bit schmaltzy. And of course, the ultimate schmaltz is Donny Osmond singing Puppy Love. That's just not really what, what he likes. So that came originally from Paul Anka, I believe. And then there was another one that Lobo did, and that was You and Me and a Dog Named Boo. So, you know, those, you know, they might be on the play rotation, but they're not certainly his favorites. And then, of course, we have what he doesn't like, and I'll give you two examples. And that's Year of the Cat by Al Stewart, and then The Stray Cat Strut by The Stray Cats. You might remember that if you were around in the early 80s, The Stray Cat Strut. But yeah, as a dog, he just can't have any cat uh, songs on his video. So, you know, that gives you an idea, uh, Miss Benetti, about what songs any American Bulldog would like. Do you have anything else, Neil? Oh, he wants to say two things. One, in the Christmas season, that he likes, I think it was Don Stevens. Let me take a look at that real quickly. And that was Don Charles, I'm sorry. That's the 1955 Bark Dogs Barking Jingle Bells. It's sort of another schmaltzy thing, but yeah, when you're in the season. And then of course his all-time favorite of all, and that is A Bulldog by the Beatles. So that's his number one. So if there's nothing else, that's all we have. And Merry Christmas to you. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.